OK, the following diagrams uh, you can follow in conjunction with the PowerPoint presentation that you can access from home or in class. But we are discussing AC voltages in terms of a phasor diagram. You can see two AC voltages in diagram one and diagram two. I'll give you a moment to to draw the diagrams. You can freeze this video in the meantime. OK, now that you've drawn the diagrams, let's consider diagram one. And you can see that on the left hand side of the screen. Consider the two AC voltages V1 and V2. You can see that they both pass through zero, going positive and reaching their positive peaks at the same time. They also return to the zero at one point and continue and reach both negative peaks at the same time. These two voltages V1 and V2, V1 and V2, are said to be synchronized, or more particularly, in phase with one another. The same diagrams are shown in V1, V2 on the right side of the screen. But in this case, you can see that the peak of V2, that's the peak of V2, reaches its maximum voltage sometime after V1. Make a note. The peak of V2 reaches its voltage or maximum voltage after V1. The time delay is indicated by pi divided by 2. In other words, V2 reaches its peak voltage pi degrees divided by 2 after V1. Josh, describe V2 in relation to V1 on the right side of the diagram. OK, good. You should have identified that V2 reaches its maximum voltage or peak voltage pi divided by 2 degrees after V1. Well, pi divided by 2 is how many degrees, Ali? In terms of a circle, it's 90 degrees. Did Ali get it right? If so, well done. If not, now is your chance to make a note of the value of pi divided by 2. 90 degrees. In this case, V2 is said to lag behind V1 by pi divided by 2, which is 90 degrees. In other words, it starts its cycle 90 degrees after V1. V2 starts its cycle 90 degrees after V1. If you're using this presentation in conjunction with the slideshow available on the VLE, then there are some notes to go hand in hand with this presentation. So I'll put them up one at a time for you on this screen. You might not be able to see them clearly here, but follow it through on the learning channel. In diagram one, both voltages pass through zero on the horizontal at the same time. Positive and negative peaks are reached at the same time. That's positive and negative peaks are reached at the same time in diagram 1. In diagram 2, however, V2 reaches its maximum voltage after V1 by 90 degrees. We could say that V2 lags behind V1 by 90 degrees, or pi divided by 2 radians. There are standard expressions to sum up the values for both diagrams in terms of V1 and V2. The standard expression, as you can see if you're following this through, this through on the PowerPoint presentation on the VLE, is for V1 equals V1 
M1 or maximum voltage. Sin in brackets 2 times pi times frequency times time. So that's V1 equals V1 M1. Sin in brackets 2 times pi times frequency times time. Close the bracket. Or we could simplify it by saying V1 sin E volt. That's V1 sin E volt. Similarly then, for V2, we could say that V2 equals V2 M2. That's the maximum voltage of V2. Sin, because there's an angle formed when a conductor loop rotates. In brackets, similarly to the first one, 2 times pi, times frequency, times time. But in this case, notice that it's awarded a minus value. Pi divided by 2. Uh, Jack Griffiths, why do you think there's a minus indicated in that equation for V2? Uh, ben, why do you think there's a minus value indicated in that bracket for V2. Joe, you explain why there's a minus sign associated with that equation in that bracket. Okay, good. Uh, if you said that it indicates V2 is lagging behind V1, by the angle verified in the bracket, you're correct. In other words, we can simplify that expression. I'll move this round just slightly and a bit closer in so you can see more particularly this equation on the right hand side here where it says a simplified version Vm2, maximum voltage of V2, sin, angular movement, minus 90 degrees volt. In other words, V2 lags by the angle indicated in the bracket behind V1. In this case, V2 lags behind V1 by 90 degrees. That's V2 lags behind V1 by 90 degrees. Okay, you can switch this video off for a while and make your notes.